Hi, hey, good morning. You know, every one of us are wanting to be smarter every day, more intelligent, more capable. And this capability and smarter that we are talking about, more intelligent, more happiness, joy, and these are all functions of your mind, functions of your intelligence. So what should you do? You should not. No, 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 you should. But trying to be smarter every day, we are getting disconnected to who we are. You know, your mind is very sharp, very intelligent. You're the only one who rules this world. There are so many animals, but have you realized while you're ruling the world, while you're being happy, have you realized not one living being suffers as much as human beings do? And why is that? So what's the point? Point is learning to handle yourself. And that yourself apparently we say is the mind and the body. But if you look carefully, if you give a sharp knife to a baby, baby is going to damage itself. Because baby doesn't know how to handle that knife. And this is what has happened to most of us today. We are not trained how to handle this mind and the body. And the process of education is supposed to take us, but generally it is what intellect, our ego, our humbleness, all those things education is supposed to bring in. Be kind, be caring. But it's not happening. And happening to some extent, little, little. Then why are we suffering so much? So there is not possible that you and I will not use our hand or our legs or our eyes. So similarly, there is a tremendous faculty between all of us is what is the faculty and the power of the universe. That power of the universe and the power which is within you are not separate. They are within you. Only thing, we have forgotten about it. We have become unconscious of it. All right, Sir Robin Ghosh, what should we do? How to utilize? You have a wonderful power within you and you and I are not possible because Ancient India had guided us, taught us how to do that. But the Western mind has come about and brought in more of intellect, memory, ego, all that stuff. Utilize both. Each one of us are trying to be, think, smarter every day, more intelligent, more capable, more, more, more of what? Something. And supposing you say, I wish to be a king, I wish to be a queen. So supposing, because you wished and somebody makes you a queen, will you be happy? Think for a second. Even if you become the queen or the king of this whole earth, you will think about now becoming king and the queen of the some planets or stars or galaxy or something. This is what is the human mind is all the time asking for more, more and more. So while you and I need to learn that power from within. You need to also know how to control that mind, how to purify it. How do you purify it? Just by being with yourself, just by sitting. You have it. We're not using it. Our mind, our brain, we don't have time. Time to sit still. Where is the time? Why? you got time for everything. So if you are truly aware and conscious that that power is there, what the hell is it all about? Just dip into your own self. Where is it? It's inside you only. While we are teaching our children in the process, you need to understand that we need to awaken that power from within them. Those are the tiny, tiny things when we give him, let's say 56 out of 56. What is that? That's training the mind. That's not the power within. But what happens when you give them a goal, give them a target and believe in it, something else happens. And that is that power from within start to make them work deeper, more intense, more caring, more loving, because that is the power which is you and me, all of us have. And 
our intention is to, while we are doing this Western education, coupled with that, this what we talk about, become aware. You know, even if I am talking, it's of no use, Andres. You are believing in it. You're the teacher. You're the, you know, the principal, guide, coordinator, head. You have to believe in it. You have to understand it. You have to realize it. You can only believe in it, provided you have it with you. So our intention in this school is not just uh, Western education. Coupled with that, ancient India's education. We all know, theoretically we know. But are we really doing it? And look at that. Some of us are. And because of which your children are also becoming different, becoming kind. I can tell you some of the names of those children. The moment I look at them, I can see they are on that journey, connecting to something. Even I need to be in that journey, make our life along with theirs a different. And this is what we mean by school with a different. Think, tremendous opportunity is there within you and me, within each one of the child, which is each one of our parents. We have to guide them towards us, show it to them. Hey, that is there, that is with you. And the moment they start to experience that infinite power within, you will be surprised what all they can do. And suddenly, because they can, and doing is what? Doing is with the body and the mind. But that gets purified. The mind gets purified, the body gets purified. And you'll suddenly find you have a wonderful partner, colleague, boss, right? You have a nice day and have a beautiful time ahead.